into it and let's talk a little bit about Victor Frankenstein. Now, this will be the major motion picture, which will be hitting theaters, uh, I believe, Thanksgiving this year. So the 25th, if I'm correct, of November. And this movie is a new take on, you guessed it, Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Now, this movie is actually starring James McAvoy. You might know him from such things as X-Men. He is the new Professor X. And Daniel Radcliffe, which if you've never seen a movie, you've probably still seen a Harry Potter movie. There's like eight of them. There's a lot of them. There are more than were necessary. There's so like there seven books. eight more than necessary. They were, okay. Yeah, they weren't very good. Like Two of them were really good, and then the rest of them were kind of gr- cruddy. But, um, yeah, so he is Harry Potter in there. And this is a, a new take on the Shelley uh, – what's her name again? Mary Shelley? She- yes. I on Mary so. Shelley's classic Frankenstein tale. Now, when I started – they started releasing a lot of uh, promotion materials. We got our first trailer just recently. These guys actually showed up together and were did a panel at Comic-Con this year. And they actually – it looked like they had a lot of fun filming it. And hopefully that chemistry will kind of combine with them. So this movie really takes place, you know, all the events of Frankenstein are happening. We all know about Igor, uh, the hunchback assistant of Frankenstein, who's just, yes, master, and walking around doing stuff. Well, here's where the different take comes in. So Daniel Radcliffe plays Igor, and no, he does not have a hunchback, which might make him a little cooler if he did, though. You know, actually, I was... I, I when I saw the trailer, I was happy that they're not going with the like hunched over, slightly deformed, stupid guy. He he mm-hmm. seems like he's an intelligent character in this one, and he seems like a bigger character than we've seen him before. Like, well, yeah. So this movie is actually going to take place from the point of view of Igor, mm-hmm. which makes it, me wonder well, why they called it Victor Frankenstein. Yeah. They should have just called it Igor. That it it feels like it's going to be better. more like a a Sherlock Holmes Watson setup maybe yeah but that's so what they were saying in the tagline the watson is, perspective yeah it is from the yeah. igor perspective and and that's actually a good analogy because after watching this trailer the vibe i got from it was more like guy ritchie's uh sherlock holmes you know with robert downey jr and jude law that's kind of the feel i get from this kind of uh like a buddy adventure movie yeah. that has some horror twists yeah. to it a lot so, of the visuals seem similar to to mm-hmm. To what they did with with Sherlock Holmes. So, yeah. so what we saw from the trailer was pretty much uh, you know Igor and Watson, uh, not Igor and Watson, Igor and Frankenstein running around. They first it looks like they animate a dog, and then they step up to humans, which is going to be pretty interesting. So you're seeing a little bit more of a different take on the Frankenstein. Now I've never read the Frankenstein book, I, I guess uh, you know, but. I don't remember in any most of those stories the police start sniffing around, stuff starts going wrong even before yeah. the monster pops up. But that is going to be a big part of this one, it looks like. They're not only trying to hide this from society, but the police might have caught wind of what they're doing, and so they're also trying to hide it from them. So it looks like it's going to be a fun movie. Um, now, back to the Comic-Con panel. They did have a panel together, and when you watch the panel, which I was actually able to watch it on like Cinema Blend or something like that, they actually look like they have a really good chemistry between these two actors. So if they can carry over just a fraction of that chemistry to this movie, I think we're in for, I'm not going to call it a thriller, but a very exciting movie. How does that sound? Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of the things that I'm, I, I was slightly disappointed by because it looked like there was a lot of potential here for a different kind of more serious take on Frankenstein is it still looks like they're going to play this up as a, a monster horror movie which Frankenstein kind of is yeah. but the the original story he's like that that most things don't show is Frankenstein's monster is incredibly intelligent not necessarily really malicious he doesn't just flip out immediately actually it's just kind of terrible things happen to him and he does eventually start he does flip out. He kills a little yeah. girl who gives him flour. In in what? In the movies, not in the story. Yeah, that's that's part of the story, especially not the Robert the, De Niro not Mary one. Shelley's. Not yeah. not Mary Shelley's original. Yeah, walk. she gives him a flower and he ends up like breaking her neck. No, he he falls in love with like human. He he actually is not that like he'll he'll kill people that are trying to kill him. And he's kind of unstoppable because well, he's, he's actually also Frank, super. In, he's also like super intelligent. He's actually smarter than most other people. Well, he also wants to kill then, Frankenstein because Frankenstein. Is he not doesn't. A fan of him. In, in the in like Frankenstein was kind of a jerk to him when when he was finally made. 
But his thing with Frankenstein is he just wants Frankenstein to... His whole point is to get Frankenstein to make him a wife. Or to make him another person like him. So that he can continue his lineage. Like, he says, like, I'll go away and we'll live separate or something like that. But I I, want to... I I almost guarantee you we will not be hashing that out in this Um, storyline. We are looking at a different take. No, I don't think anything's done that yet. Yeah, the the Robert De Niro one. You haven't seen the Robert De Niro one? No, I didn't see the De Niro one. That's like the old ones. It's it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty faithful to the Mary Shelley book. Um, So yeah, so the the Robert De Niro one, I think that's early '90s. It was a pretty darn good one. Um, So that's you can see that one in that. But yeah, so this movie, I'm actually looking forward to it. It seems like a good uh, Thanksgiving type treat. Uh, A lot of good movies come out on Thanksgiving, I guess, because everybody's off. It's the beginning of the the. Christmas season, so I guess people that don't go the shopping that go to the movies. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what I would rather do. So, yeah, well, yeah, um, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this. Uh, but how about you? Are you excited to see the Frankenstein as told by Igor in Victor Frankenstein, the new movie, or are you just done Frankenstein told us tales. Hit us up, let us know. Comments down below, of course, at What's My Face on Twitter. Google Plus Facebook, always good ways.